Hello, we are from <laughs> Switzerland. You, we enjoy full time in LA. Thank you for all. <laughs> Six thousand three hundred athletes from one hundred and sixty-five countries were in Los Angeles for the Special Olympics World Summer Games. We sent our largest team ever, one hundred and fourteen athletes and one hundred and sixty-five members from all chapters across Canada. The World Games are the flagship event for Special Olympics and a testament to how far the movement has come since nineteen sixty-eight. Founded by Eunice Kennedy Shriver, the first international games were held at Chicago's Soldier Field with only Canada and the United States participating. In ancient Rome, the gladiators went into the arena with these words on their lips. Let me win, but if I cannot win, let me be brave in the attempt. We've been told a child with Down syndrome body had negative buoyancy, and if you put them in a swimming pool, they would sink. I had 15 lifeguards there. They were down both sides of the pool and at both ends. Because the one thing I want to be sure of is that nobody died swimming in those games. But I only tell that to give you an idea of the ignorance that I had and everybody had in 1968. And it's still muscle, and it's still heart, and it's still circulation, and it's still determination. It's all of these things. In that way, the people with mental handicap really aren't any different from all of us. In fact, a lot of them are way the hell ahead of us. Your bravery seen here can become a mighty force against centuries of ignorance, neglect, and oppression. You are the heroes and heroines who have overcome. Go home and tell your countrymen, I am a champion athlete, and I represented my nation before all the world. A loud roar inside oh the Coliseum goodness. for the Canadians. They've been in a year-long performance preparation national team program that has readied them to perform on the world stage. Amazing little fact that you know, we often don't make the front page of the sports. Uh, you know, we might be back in lifestyles, we might be back in the culture section or something, but here in Los Angeles, we made the front page of the sports section in the LA Times. That's the transformative power of sport and Special Olympics. You know what you're doing on this, don't you? Yes. You got this. You got this. I have known Joanne now for six years, and she's a delight. Bubbly, she's anxiety ridden um, but she's so positive that y you can't help but but just love to work with her and love her as a person I get nervous sometimes when when they call my name I'm like, oh my gosh what, what do I do it makes me feel proud that I'm up there um, it makes me feel special that everybody's cheering me on because I want to make my family proud. And they've always wanted me to go to the worlds, and um, so here I am. She absolutely loves this. She feeds off the crowd, and she's just tremendous. I couldn't be more proud. Yeah, she's just, she's my lifter. But you know what? She won't carry in a 30 pound bag of groceries. <laughs> I am very proud of every one of the lifters. Yeah. They're just fantastic. Did you ever think you'd be here at the World Games with this girl again? Not with this, not with my daughter, no. I had no, never, no. ever pictured this. <laughs> 
So the third lift, Ross and I had talked and said, okay, you know what? First lift was for Ross, second lift was for me, third lift was for her. If she's lifting, we're gonna give her a personal best. Her technique was flawless. She did all the work. We just we just said, go pick it up, put it down. Dad, this is why happy tears. They're happy tears, right. I was more nervous than she was the begin at the beginning. So for this, I couldn't have wished anything more for Joanne. The personal best, um, and that's all that counts. It was beautiful. Special Olympics Team Canada at the World Summer Games on TSN is brought to you in part by Staples, Safeway, the Law Enforcement Torch Run, and the Government of Canada. These golfers are the best in Canada. I'm quite impressed with their, their skill, their technical understanding, and their focus for the game. The girls are very competitive. Tess recently got a hole in one, so that's a standout. Obviously a little bit of a new story there. I got my hole in one. My dad and my mom were so proud of me. That's how I felt. I didn't think that I would make it to World Games I didn't think that I would get selected. I didn't even think that I would even qualify. I feel that it's like nationals all over again. I want to do the same way I did and allow to make our country proud. She probably started golfing when she was eight or 10 years old and we golf as a family. So, uh, you, know, it's, it, you know, it's good. When she was born, we found out after that she was, you know, she was Down syndrome. And uh, my my wife has really been the, the rock or the pillar. Uh, very confident that Tess will be successful and, you know, in some way. And that's proven true. I'm a calm golfer. On the course, it's just me in the ball and my club. She's great off the tee. She has a good drive. She's got the ability for nine holes to shoot mid to low 40s. Happy? Yeah, it's a good score. I should have done better, but higher scores aren't so good, but I like to bring him down tomorrow. Feeling good about yourself? Yeah, I feel great. It's a good round. It's a struggle. It was a struggle. I'm hoping to do it better tomorrow. If it wasn't for Special Olympics, I wouldn't be this person that I am today. If you have never been to a Special Olympics sport event, go and see one, because once you see it, more than likely you'll probably want to get involved somehow. This is a movement that's run by volunteers, much like amateur sport, just wouldn't happen without people giving their time to coach and officiate and make sure everything runs properly. So please participate. We need you and it's a win-win. It's a this team has heart. They are made up from all over BC. Um, and have just come together and meshed very well. It's amazing to see where they've come from and where they started to where they're at now. Um, they're just an amazing bunch of athletes that I've had the privilege of coaching for the past two years. For Canadians, what Special Olympics means is opportunity. When I got involved to now, there's been so many doors that have opened up, and, you know, 10 years ago, if you were to ask and say, you know, would you think you'd be here, represent your country on the world stage in basketball, I would have said that that doesn't even cross my mind, and now it's here. So I think it's opened up so many doors, and hopefully it opens up a lot more for many other individuals after these games. Four points. This is possible. Very much so. Okay? We're still in this game. Dribble threat, what can you do? Dribble out, pass, but don't freak out. Don't start moving your feet, keep them set. Dribble up backwards, create space, right? Let's not panic here. You guys are doing a great job, defensively especially. You guys are picking up, you're doing well. We really left it all out there. I think Belgium's a fantastic team really showed why they deserve to be the bronze medalist in uh, two back-to-back hard-fought games and they deserve to win the bronze. Thank you, man. Congratulations. Absolutely. Thank you for everything, guys. Hi, Canada!
Special Olympics Team Canada at the World Summer Games on TSN is brought to you in part by Signature Authentics, Coca-Cola Canada, Grey Canada, and Home Hardware. I used to have a dream that I wanted to be a juggernaut or something. Do you know what the juggernaut is from Marvel? He's like a big guy who's ripped. But nowadays I like running. Darby McIntyre is one of our long distance runners. He's a wonderful person and he's a very talented young runner. He's 15 years old. Uh, he just ran an outstanding race this morning in the 1500 meter. He ran probably the race of his life so far. And so he PB'd by 20 seconds and he's got the 5000 meter coming up quite soon. Special Olympics has given him definitely more confidence, more of like an image, and he's more of an icon now in the Yukon, which is pretty cool because everyone knows Darby basically. It's like, oh, hi Darby, and he seems to know everyone. They helped out with my intellectual disability, which I'm autistic. Way back when I was in elementary school in grade three, I joined the running club and later I joined Special Olympics. And I like running so much because it helps me get out my energy. When I was younger, I used to have lots of energy. I still do, but I keep it in here and save it for running. When he was two, he was really behind in his vocabulary and that sort of thing, couldn't really express himself. He'd go around and just do his own thing. He didn't really care about us. He'd take off in the yard and we'd be running around the neighborhood trying to find him. So when he was three, he, he was diagnosed with autism. And uh, yeah, we were really, it really shook us because you know, you have all these hopes and dreams for your, your son. And, and then we got an incredible amount of support. Some people who were actually here on the trip with us, watching him and cheering him on in the stands, like people who've worked with them since he was three. I have to thank all the coaches because they've been wonderful and and a few coaches in Whitehorse that helped me train for this too. We have a, a sense of you know how well he can do when uh, given the right conditions. It's been really hot this week uh, which is something we don't experience in the Yukon but uh, yeah we're gonna be excited and nervous probably is the best way to describe it. I'm excited. I'm not nervous at all. I think about I'm going to take this guy down. I'm, I'm going to do this. Show them what I got. We got Darby! It's really helped bring our family together. And so those days when you think about when he was diagnosed with, with autism, now we think, whatever. Like, I mean, he can do anything. It's amazing watching how Team Canada has evolved. Uh, and just seeing the quality of our athletes and not just of the highest ability but at all levels and just how technically sound they are. You're watching your athletes and you see people looking at them and saying Canada is a quality team uh, in how they perform but then also how they act and how they represent their country. I think we have a really great team. We have a really great group. We have a lot of excellent swimmers. So a lot of guys, I think we're really gonna light the pool on fire in Los Angeles. So guys are really fast. He's a great guy, one of the youngest members on the team, he's 14 years old, and uh, you know what, he's amazing. He, uh, he works hard in the pool, he's, uh, he's been swimming really great. I'm excited to see him swim. I've been in the Special Olympics for only three years. Changed my life, helped me with my lung capacity a lot. Um, gave me a chance to meet some new people. A fun experience. Mark is a great representative of the country, he's from the north. It's an amazing opportunity to come to the games uh, being from a small place. We're from Yellowknife. He has had health issues his entire life, a lot of lung issues, which was really surprising to me that he's such a good swimmer. Mark's fed through a G-tube in his stomach, so any nourishment goes through his stomach. He can eat a little bit now but we just continually monitor that so that we make sure he gets enough nutrition. When he's not at the pool, he's, he's, uh, he's shy. He's shy, he's, he's funny sometimes. He likes to tell jokes, a lot of jokes. We have a huge family, there's all eight of us. You know, my sisters, there's my brothers in the military. You know, I bet you they're all rooting for us right now. We're rooting for him. I'm more of a sprint swimmer. I'm doing 25 back and 50 freestyle. I'm going to be nervous, but I'm going to be happy that I'm representing my country. It's been a dream of mine since I joined. 
it was amazing. I loved it. It was fun. They were challenging swimmers, but it was worth it. I beat my personal best once again. It's an honor to have my family here. I love my family and everyone else that's watching. And it's amazing. Kamana, you yes. go on first. Celine, Emily, Ashley. How you don't want too much space, but you want to be kind of close together. Christina Campbell is helping to coach our group ball routine. One of the uh, suggestions of Special Olympics was to develop leadership skills. And I think because Christina is an elite athlete, the other athletes really look up to her and it would really help develop the program. It means a lot to me to go and help them and for them to do their best and see how successful they can be. So it makes me very proud to do that. We hang out with each other and stuff. As a coach, she's really helpful coach. She's really nice in the way that she's telling us what to do, but not like being strict or anything. Would you like to be a coach someday? Maybe, but I'm more focused on being a, being a makeup artist. Yeah. Arm down, on toes, ball in right hand. Now arm down and walk like this. These are my first World Games and Christina has helped us so much. Like we have fun times and then we have really serious times. Like I'll go over and be like, hey, I'm having this trouble, my single routine. And she'll just be like, oh, just push your hips out more or tighten your toes up more. And, and, I, and I'll do it and it'll actually work. Blue space, triangle, blue space. Line up yourself with the blue space. Who's the better coach, your mom or <laughs> Christina? <laughs> I like both. She teaches us to point our toes, be together, follow the person that's right beside you, because you need to know that stuff. A Special Olympics has given our community and at a personal level our family a wonderful experience and it's just been amazing all of the things and we often say who would have ever thought that this was possible. It's been my privilege to be involved with Special Olympics these years. I just have fun, put your toes, and have a great time doing your group ball for the judges. Thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> Dave, everyone, and she's one, go Canada! This is their third World Games that they've been to. This is a team that's been inducted into the Hall of Fame um, locally where they live, um, which is a huge honor. And uh, I think today when they play Mexico, they're going to they're gonna show us why they were a team that was inducted into the Hall of Fame. to be a Canadian. I'm proud of my teammates. Woo! I'm one proud of my coaches. We couldn't do it without them. We're coming home with the rods. We're coming home. And I'm in the game. Thank you. Yeah. Special Olympics Team Canada at the World Summer Games on TSN is brought to you in part by Tim Hortons, Special Olympics Team Canada sponsor. One, he's been involved with Special Olympics, I think, most of his life. He started swimming, get tired swimming, so he started to uh, powerlift. 
he just decided he was going to be the best power lifter he could and through natural ability and perseverance he is probably the, one of the best power lifters in the world i would say generically or with special olympics pound for pound i don't know if there's many can beat him Special Olympics itself is a great organization. It's every single Special Olympics has their own goals, their own dreams, even their, their own aspirations. Like I had throughout my 20 year Special Olympics powerlifting career and 28 year uh, Special Olympics career overall. After going through months of, of counseling to, to deal with the passing of my mom, I know that she's going to be there in spirit to, to cheer me on. His mom passed away, and that was a very difficult time for Jackie. You know, she was his very, very best fan and uh, no one can ever take her place. She's in the back of his mind, I'm sure. Special Olympics has taught me not just to succeed in sport, but also to succeed in other facets of life, whether it be doing well at work, doing well in school, or, or any dream that you want to pursue. When they told us, his mom, that he should be in an institution when he's 10 or 11 years old, and she says, not gonna happen, well, how long were they? And look how far he's come. As Maria Shriver said, look how far they've come. All these athletes are special, not just Jack. Jack is Mr. Congeniality, I guess. He's only a part of a great, great movement. If somebody has a child that they think is special, don't hide the child. Bring the child out. Put the child in the forefront. But they're going to be themselves, and they're going to excel at what they excel at. He never talks about himself. He, uh, he's training now, he's coaching a young man in Cornerbrook who, who's autistic. Jackie's first coach in powerlifting was a blind guy. A blind guy with a mentally challenge that said, here we go, Jeannie, this is gonna be wonderful, isn't it? <laughs> oh, look how far he's come. What is there to say? Uh, I'm speechless. The crowd went crazy. We all went crazy. He had his picture of his mom. He went, he's happy, and we're happy. Are you ever going to forget this moment? Never, ever going to forget this moment. Never. This is a great day for Newfoundland of Labrador, and it's definitely a great day for the Newfoundland Moose. Yeah. God damn the Newfoundland! <laughs> <laughs> This is my Sidney Crosby. <laughs> <laughs>